In this video, I'll be teaching you the basics of Fire Alpaca. So after you've downloaded it and started up, it should look something similar to this. First thing you want to do is open File and click New. Here, you could choose the width and height of your canvas. After you choose the width and height, push OK. Here is the uh, drawing tool, and here are the brushes. I have a couple extra brushes because I downloaded some custom ones. Here you could change the size and the opacity of your brush. Here's the eraser. You could also change the size and opacity of that too. Here is a tool you could use to move around your picture. Here's a selection tool where you could select pieces of your drawing and move them around individually. If you have a, something selected, you could push select and transform to make it bigger or smaller or taller or wider. And then you can push OK and it'll stay like that. To deselect something, you could push Control D or push Select here and select Deselect. Here is where you could add a new layer. On the new layer, you could draw over your the layers below it, and you could erase it and move it without affecting any of the other layers. If you push Protect Alpha, you could color over it, but only affect, you could color over the layer that you're currently on. If you add a new layer and push Clipping, then you could draw over the layer below it, but only staying on where you've already drawn. But you could also move it around and delete and erase it without affecting the original layer. Here is the navigator. You can move around your picture, zoom in, zoom out, and look at it from side to side. You could also flip it. This is the correction tool. A lot of times when drawing digitally, it could look, lines could look um, a little, the lines could look a little wiggly. But if you turn the correction up, it helps straighten them out. There are also the fill bucket, like the paint bucket, or you could use this square thing that could and it just fills in kind of squares of color. If you have the um, pen, pen tool selected, you go up here and these could help you draw lines or circles. To move the circles and lines around, you can push this dot and whenever you want, wherever you want it, just touch down and then you could help you draw a perfect circle or a perfect line. If you want to not see a layer anymore, you go over here and click the circle and it'll make the layers disappear. And you just push it back on. If you want to make, you also make a folder by pushing this button and this is how you delete folders or layers. You can put different layers into the folder and it helps keep things organized. And if you want to make everything in the folder disappear, you can just push the circle on the folder. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask a question below and I might cover in another video.